right, guys, let's stop these lies, international lies, and in history about the life of uh, family Castriotti and uh, about the Skanderbeg and his father. Um, let me be direct. Uh, all nations in Balkans, like uh, Croats, Serbs, uh, Albanians, they all claim to be Illyrians, number one. Number two, uh, one of the most important uh, uh, historical figure uh, after Illyrian Empire was a uh, family uh, Castriotti, uh, to be precise, Skanderbeg. So, that being said, everybody is trying to grab this uh, fame of these men to belong to their own nation and also to their own religion. So, like uh, Catholics will say, uh, family, uh, Skanderbeg and his father, they converted to Catholics. Muslims will say Skanderbeg and his father converted to Muslim. And the Orthodox Christian will say he have converted to uh, uh, Orthodox type of Christianity. So let's clear these things uh, once and for all and bring some evidence based on documents to uh, bring the light on truth of these uh, very important people. All right, uh, that's being said, let's start with, let's start with father of Skanderbeg, uh, John Castriotti. Um, what I want to point here is First, uh, in order to confirm which religion he have belonged to, we need to go to the date when he died. So, um, then we will know what was his last religion. Uh, as you can see here, he died on before July 7, uh, 1439. On the year 1439. So let's bring one document now. Um, like what the historical documents say about his religion. And I have here, you can check on this historical uh, book published in Vienna. Uh, ISBN 9786 uh, uh, 9783631602959 uh, so this is uh, one historical book published in Vienna by uh, historian Olivier Jens Schmidt uh, okay so he is explaining his uh, religion life of John Castriotti. This is the father of Skanderbeg. John Castriotti was a Roman Catholic from 1407 to uh, 1410 as an ally of Venice. He converted to Orthodox. He changed to different type of Christianity from 1419 to 1426. Uh, because he accepted alliance with uh, Stefan Lazarevich, with, with, who was a Serb, and Serbs are uh, Christian Orthodox. And from 1431 to 1438, he was converted to Islam. So, 1000. 431 to 1438 he was converted to Islam and he died 
in here just next to 1438 he died as you have seen before document i'm going to bring this here again he died on 1000 uh where is where is he 1439 as you can see here he died on 1000 before it means before so 1439 so the last recorded his religion just a year before was muslim so we have cleared that let me bring this document again as you have seen on the document he have died on 1439 and he was muslim uh, here uh, by the latest documents on 1439 so it means his last year we know from historical data that father of Skanderbeg John Castrotti his last year was uh, living as a Muslim so this is clear one more thing I want to bring this to 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 clear this up um, that means uh, Skanderbeg's father have died 1439 and at that time uh, exactly the next year his son was also Muslim and in his highest ranks in Ottoman Empire as you can see here 1440 one year after even after his father died he was still under uh, Islamic uh, army and he was appointed as Sanjak Bey means like a, a minister of one re Ottoman region of Dibra in uh, 1440 so this is highlighting that on last year of his uh, father's life Skanderbeg was Muslim and in his highest ranks of Ottoman uh, Empire uh, title appointed as Sanjak Bey so this makes this clear about uh, John Castriotti father of Skanderbeg on our next video, we are going to switch to the personality and life of Skanderbeg and what was Skanderbeg's religion. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in next video.